everybody, and welcome to in my just call it the spotlight. This is what this is a spotlight on Raw. Yeah, I know. I'm a Raw fan. I hate. I, don't know, I hate Brown Bryant. You guys know my hate video. It is what it is. I'll never like the guy because he's a wuss. He's always been a wuss. I don't care what he's accomplished in his life. He'll always be, in my opinion, a wuss. But this isn't about that. This is about Raw in general. Okay? And in general, Raw has started to suck here lately, in my opinion. But you know that. They boost up the wrong people. But what they've been doing here lately is they've been trying to transfer out the older wrestlers. They've been trying to transfer them out. They're trying to take them out of the equation because they're getting old and not much is there left in the tank anymore. But yet, they still try to live off the past glories. Sadly, we lost Russell last night, the Ultimate Warrior. Lost him Monday night. And they don't know what is wrong, but plenty of been speculating that uh, it was steroids and he was a big shooter. He didn't walk right Monday night. A friend of mine noticed that. I'm going to give a shout out to him. His name's Boots. I'm not going to say the rest of his name because I'm trying to keep this show clean. <clears throat> but it's been speculated that he was on steroids. Not nobody liked him. Not many people liked him in the back because that he did drugs. Don't blame him. I mean, at the time in the '90s, drugs was big, baseball and all that bull crap. But. Speaking of McEnroe in general, this isn't the reality level. This isn't the reality era. This ain't getting into reality. The only thing, the reason they're calling it reality is because that Diva TV show, which, in my opinion, it's alright. You know, it's not reality at its best, but it's okay. But this isn't about that. It's about Raw in general. Like I said, there ain't much to it. New Breed's taking over, slowly but surely. Next thing you know, they're going to weed out Cena. Like they're doing all, like they did Kane, like they did Undertaker. Cena's still got youth in him, though, so he's going to be around for a little bit longer. I mean, they already weeded out, uh, well, the Road Dog and Billy Gunn came back. But if they were, if they were younger, they weren't like in their probably 40s or 50s, then they would have kicked the Osos, all the tag teams' butts. They would have kicked their butts because they know they had the knowledge I knew now and the youth they had then. You, everybody can, I can almost guarantee you, they won, won the titles without freaking anything cheating or anything because they're that damn gun good. Yeah, gone are the days of them doing anything great. Gone are the days of many of them doing anything great because, this, like I said, this is the new breed era. New breed, not reality. They're not living reality. They're still living in the past. Living off the past glories like some of them are. I don't, I don't agree with you. Uh, well, not agree with you because everybody thinks, oh, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar was just like freaking... Uh, Daniel Bryant. He, uh, friend, my friend Boots agrees with me. He should not have. Uh, he should not have be did that. Shouldn't have allowed Brock Lesnar to be the winner. I mean, not the winner, but to take the thing. Someone younger. Someone better than Brock Lesnar. Someone not with such a freaking, oh, I'm the best attitude. Take the time, take the rain. Now they're saying, now the story they're going with Brock Lesnar is undefeated at uh, WrestleMania. Well, that's easy to say when you had only two or three freaking WrestleManias because you decided to go somewhere else and do something else. 
Uh, my friend of mine led, read me uh, his uh, whole thing, where how great he is of a wrestler in the past. That's his past. You cannot live off your past. If you're living off past wins, the heck, Boots. I've killed you five times in the past. That make, Does that make me better than you? No, it doesn't. Does that make me good? My nose and freaking shooters, I'm not that daggum freaking good. You get lucky. Luck and skill are the only things this world's based around. Luck doesn't exist. It's skill. That's the truth. Me, to me, people do get lucky. They claim it's skill. Well, they know if they could, they couldn't do it again if they tried. The only person that could do what that over and over again, if he was younger, would be the Undertaker. If he was young, Undertaker was younger. Well, heck, even now the Undertaker could beat Brock Lesnar if he was feeling better. If his hip wasn't hurting him, he could have freaking trashed Brock Lesnar. But he freaking knows it. So pit living off the past isn't going to get you to move forward to the future. So these younger wrestlers, I'm going to say to you, don't live off your past victories. Because if you do, they're going to be left in the dust. But to you then, Ryan, keep living off your past victories until someone mops the floor with you and cracks your skull open or does some in bodily harm to you. Wuss. You'll always be a wuss. Now you're no longer the underdog. Now you get taste of victory. You're going to get cocky. Every wrestler with the belt does. Stone Cold did it. Kane did it. Undertaker did it. Triple H did it. Batista did it. Oh, even Hulk Hogan got cocky. And when you get cocky, you make mistakes. Don't even try to say, oh, he won't make a mistake. He will. Everybody knows he will. They all do. Don't live off your past victories. Because your past victories will get you knocked down a notch. So go ahead, Daniel Bryant. Live off your past victories. I want to see you fail. Because you will. If you don't learn from the past, you are doomed to repeat it. That's a fact. And it's the truth.